We're trying to steal Pokemon here, kids. I'm trying to steal Pokemon from teenagers. I'm not supposed to look friendly, all right? Hi everyone, it's me, the bitch from Twitch, Bitch Puddin', and today we are doing Game Glow, a series where you're inspired by characters from video games to do a makeup look. And today we are inspired by none other, the icon, the legend, the one with six ratatatas or five Zubats and Eradicate if you're lucky. Yes, I am talking about the Team Rocket Grunt, the grunt worker of the force of Team Rocket. The reason I'm really inspired to do the Team Rocket Grunt is because I'm kind of attracted to those characters that are overlooked or just like the f the filth of the world, right? You know, this is a person that's part of a corporation or in the lotus part of the totem pole. I, I really am inspired by, you know, kind of diving into that and making them look like they've been, they, they, they have not received a meal in weeks. They, they've been stuck in this cave waiting for this snot-nosed teenager to come with his Pikachu. And we're gonna squash them because we have six Zubats in our party. Let's get into the makeup look. All right, our very first step is that we're gonna moisturize. And today we have a wonderful sponsor. We got Winky Lux giving us all these amazing products and I really can't wait to dive into this one. This is a Dream Gel Moisturizing Face Gel. And I always like to moisturize my face, especially because after I shaved, and it also helps, you know, helps your skin. You gotta moisturize your skin, you gotta love your skin. Ah, uh, butter. And I mean it in a good way. It's not like you're actually rubbing a stick of butter on your face. To really prep the face. Before that completely dries down, we're gonna go and add the Wakey Wakey, the Wakey Lux Brightening Deep Puffing Eye Cream. Really stoked to try this product. I don't know about y'all, but I got puffy eyes. And let that marinate in with that beautiful moisturizer we just laid on before. It's kind of funny today we're doing like a really gross Team Rocket member and I'm using the most like beautiful packaged makeup. <laughs> just grab a primer that works for you. I'm using this one today, but literally any primer that you know reacts well to your skin or foundation will work best. For a heavy look like this, you could go lighter for sure, but what you wanna always, you always wanna prime your and moisturize your face. Moisturizing first, obviously, and then you wanna prime your face to prep your face for the foundation because putting foundation directly on top of your skin isn't gonna be the best thing, especially for long-term wear. All right, now that we're primed and prepped for the foundation, we're gonna pop in our concealer. I like to start out with concealer in my problem areas. That's my mustache, my brows, and underneath my eyes. Uh, so we're gonna do go ahead and do that. I'm using today the Full Coverage Eye Concealer in Fair from Leaky Lux. So I've never used this concealer before. Let's see if it's up to snuff. I have a feeling it will be, but let's check it out. And I'm just dabbing, I'm not like brushing hard. I'm kind of like pressing it in. I'm dabbing it into my eye. Now, if you, you could obviously do this like without covering your eyebrows or blocking them off. I like to do it because it gives, I have really thick natural brows. And these will give it, uh, give me more room to apply makeup. Now I'm just taking a liquid foundation that works for me, whatever shade works for you. Go ahead and do that. Now, I know I might look crazy during this part of the process, but I promise you stick around to the end, you're gonna be blown away by the transformation. So now I'm just taking this on a foundation brush and just dabbing this in. I'm not like swiping. I'm just like lightly tapping the foundation into my skin. Um, we're gonna highlight my face using a cream white stick. As I said, we're not doing a specific Team Rocket Grunt character. We're taking inspiration from the, those games, uh, those appearances of those characters. And all I'm doing with this highlight is I'm just beating it in with a sponge and working into that foundation and concealer we laid earlier. So I'm gonna set my face now with a loose setting powder. I know this looks super white, but it's actually like kind of a transparent setting powder. Now, if you are a deeper skin tone than me, uh, this might make you look a little bit more ashy. So to keep from doing that, uh, use a setting powder that's translucent for your skin tone. Ideally, you could hit this all over your face and be completely fine. I like to do a little bit more definition. So I'm hitting this where we applied that cream white highlight earlier. So it's right up here in my forehead my nose, underneath my eyes, and my chin. Now that we've been cooking for a minute, we're gonna use this big, fluffy Winky Lux brush. These brushes are honestly super flippin' stunning. If you don't have the Winky Lux brush, don't worry about it. That's a big, fluffy brush we'll do. I'm using this one because it looks stunning, and it's better to start your day stunning. So we're gonna take this huge, fluffy brush and just buff that powder away 
Okay, now we're gonna draw on our brows. I like to use a pencil. If you like using pomade, whatever you like to do, draw on your brows, we're gonna draw on our brows now. And I want something villainous, right? Like this is a this is a villain. I'm snarty, snooty, and I want to be evil. And if they don't match and they look kind of wonky, I'll show you how to fix that too. We're gonna fix it all underneath. So just try to get them somewhat similar, and we're gonna put some concealer underneath, and it'll just snap it back. It'll be fine. And now I'm gonna take that cream white that I used earlier and a small concealer brush, just a small little nugget of a concealer brush. And we're gonna go over it like this. Just get it nice and kicked on. All right, now that we have concealed our under, uh, underneath our brow, I'm gonna take that loose setting powder I had before. This is that translucent one, the lighter one. Um, but if you have a, a very nice light press powder, that works too. Now I'm gonna take that big fluffy brush again, and then I'm just gonna brush away that excess. Brush it away. Now I'm gonna dive into these beautiful eyeshadow palettes from Winky Lux. I think I'm gonna try to go in with this Milky Way shade right here. Essentially what I'm gonna do right now is kinda make the transition a little bit more swapped. Do I look angry? How dare you come into my cave with your Pikachu? Now we're gonna pop over to Winky Lux's Fruity Kitten Palette and use Juicy. This is a nice like red coral shade. Has a little bit of shimmer, but that's okay. When we're taking that, we're just gonna buff that in ever so delicately. Team Rocket is just known for black and red, honey, and white, if you are judging by Jesse and James from the anime. But their leader is Giovanni. She is a diva. She has a Persian. I feel like she's low-key fam. She's never seen with a love interest. And growing up, I always felt ashamed of those kind of characters. I'm not saying Giovanni was like blatantly queer, but you know, like James uh, was like feminine in the anime. And growing up, I kind of was like, I was attracted to that character and I liked that character, but they're always kind of made fun of. And you know, they kind of express their gender through different characters. Although people made fun of them around me, I felt really amazing watching the anime because I felt connected to that character and representation really does matter. Seeing something that reminds you of yourself in media has such a profound effect on your psyche, on your mental state, on who you are, especially at an early age, just seeing somebody on TV that reminds you of yourself. It's such a powerful thing. I felt like they were my family and I felt related to them. So that's kind of why I'm attracted to the darker and shadier side of things, um, even though I'm still a good person underneath. Or am I? Um, now I'm going to the Wiki Lux's Galaxy Kitten palette and we're gonna be using um, Eclipse. That's that beautiful black shade right here. We're just going back and forth, back and forth. Now we got a good amount of the color laid down. I'm gonna brush off that excess shadow of Eclipse so we can buff this color out. So I really still want the guava to show. I just wanna buff this out a little bit. I'm gonna take this concealer brush I've used earlier and that cream white. Get a nice good hairpin on my brush and we're gonna give us a nice cream base to really put these popping shimmers on top. And now we're gonna put some eyeshadow right on top of that creamy liquid. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, I'm gonna start out by taking that Galaxy Kitten. Look at all these kitties. They in outer space, y'all. They definitely chill with you, Market. All right, I'm gonna take Stardust, which is this highlight shade right here. We're putting that on the inner eye. We're gonna go about halfway with this. All right, we did that with Stardust. Now I'm gonna go up with the next shade, and we're going to melt your space, this shade right here. And this time I'm gonna hit the outer V. Now, just to make that a little bit more aggro, I'm gonna take Galactic, just using that same brush. After wiping off the excess Meowter Space shade, and we're gonna go into that outer, outer V, right where it meets the black, and we're gonna blend that together. And to complete the gradient, I'm gonna go to Retrograde, which is this deep, deep black. It's black that has like a little shimmer to it. All right, so now we got both eyes popping. Let's get into liner. We're gonna do, I don't know where that accent came from. I'm just gonna use the eyeliner pen. This works for me. Um, this is a marker. I like markers, but whatever eyeliner works for you, use a diva. Um, so we're gonna start right here. 
an up into that kind of V that we've already made. You can do this gradient on a much smaller scale, like this much. I just like to blast it up and big because I can block out these brows. I got all this real estate and let's cover it up with some hatred from Team Rocket, am I right? And now we're gonna use Winky Luxe's Waterproof Gel Eyeliner and I'm gonna just brush it out on this outer corner and buff it out. And we're also gonna water our top line. With drag makeup, you wanna snatch it back. So you see how this is like nice and snatched going out? That's what you want. You want to elongate the face and pull back the face and give us this a different eye shape that kind of helps. Now we're going to pop into Juicy. We're going to follow this red around the side. Um, now we're going to go to, let's do Stellar. It's this beautiful shade right over here. We haven't used her yet. I'm going to lightly dust it on my lower eye. Now I'm going back in with Winky Lux's gel eyeliner and we're going to water our we're gonna do our waterline. And I'm barely just taking my finger and dragging it down. I'm not like being too harsh. This is like a delicate area of your face. You wanna be nice and subtle with it. We're gonna do our lips next. Yay! I'm feeling a bright purpley purple lip fantasy. So I'm gonna use a purple lip liner really quick. So now I'm taking a darker lip pencil and we're lining uh, outsides of the lips just to give it a little bit of a gradient. We're now going to use our Winky Lux. Look how cute this little pill is. Uh, Lip Velour. This is in the shade Royal. It's a beautiful purple shade. Now, Team Rocket didn't really necessarily have purple lips. Um, I'm not sure if they would really beat this beat. Uh, I definitely think a drag queen is in their midst. Let's contour our face now. We're going to take Winky Lux's beautiful contour shade. This is in Latte. This also packaging is like blinding in gold. Dab it in, and we're gonna work in semicircles. Out going in. Yo, this smells like coffee. What? Amazing. Now I'm gonna go back to the fruity kitten palette. And there's this really dark, beautiful brown in here called Coconut Breath. And I'm gonna use this also as a contour shade. And to deepen the contour, I'm gonna just hit the pockets on the outside up here and work that in. Contouring my nose now. Do it however you like. This works for me. Now I'm just taking a small little nugget brush, taking coconut bra again. Beautiful brown shade in the Fruity Kitten palette and I'm gonna darken the bottom part of my nose and brush it up around the sides. All right, uh, now I'm gonna pop in with a beautiful blush. To help me do my blush, I always like to smile. I get the balls in my cheeks. This is a nice like reddish purple tone, so nice like ox blood color. That's gonna really help pull in the eyeshadow with the lip. Now I'm gonna brush away the excess on that contour brush that we have. Just I'm not going back in on the blush. I'm just trying to buff that in. Now I'm just taking that same um, beautiful eyeshadow that we use right here in the Winky Lux palette, the Coconut Bra, and I'm contouring my chin. I'm gonna pull that down along the neck. Now I'm gonna highlight. I'm first gonna set my face. I'm gonna use that same eyeshadow I used earlier on my inner crease. I'm gonna use Stardust, this little nugget right here. She's a beautiful shade and she'll highlight perfectly. And now we're gonna highlight our face. I'm gonna hit the tip of my nose like that. Boom. Now Team Rocket, I think they would scrap a lot and they would be like, you know, out in the cold or a cold cave, like they're not around good environment. So I'm gonna take that guava shade again and I'm gonna cover, you know, their nose is a little red, right? They've been like, they've seen some stuff. Let's go take that shade one more time and kind of make sure that this is blended into our nose. Um, I'm also gonna hit that purple, um, Perfect Storm. Uh huh. Now we're gonna do our lashes. Find any lash that works for you. I'm using ones that I made myself. Use whatever eyelash glue works for you. I like using a latex based one. All right, y'all, we're almost done. I'm feeling a little bit not as fleshed out on uh, my under eyes, so we're gonna go in with Wavy, this beautiful dark blue shade. But first off, we're gonna stop by our nostril. Now I'm gonna take Wavy and I'm gonna barely tap the under part of my eye 
with that beautiful dark blue shade. Oh, that's stunning. Now I'm gonna apply some gloss. I'm gonna use Winky Luxe's birthday cake. We're gonna put some birthday cake on our lips. I'm gonna take uh, the clear gloss, Winky Lux on the rocks. Get that real glossy. So we're gonna end our look with So Extra, because I'm being super extra saying this right now. Let's do this, okay. And you're gonna start from the bottom, just wiggle your way up. And I know it looks like I didn't do anything, but it matters. It really does matter. Also, if you notice like the outer corner is not as dark as you want, dip it in. And on the flat side, pop it right in there. And boom. And that's it. That is the look. I'm going to go transform into a Team Rocket grunt with putting some pieces on. So I'll see you back in a quick flash. Sometimes you just need, after putting on the wig and realizing, ooh, ooh, you need to add some stuff. I need more red in my face. So I'm going to add this cheeky rose blush. This is Knickers. That's N-I-C-K-E-R-S. This rose is super cute. Very Team Rocket. Um, let's buff it out with that little highlight brush. I like the brows, but I'm gonna add some little hairs into it to make it little look real good. I'm gonna go back into coconut bra. I'm gonna take some mixing liquid. I'm gonna do a little drop in there. While the product is wet, with that angled brush, going back and forth. I'm gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna use that uh, Galaxy palette, I'm gonna use the color Eclipse. I'm gonna use the same mixing liquid, so we're gonna use the black this time. So, uh, you put the wig on, you try to fix the brows, and you realize, well, Gorge, you done fucked up dry. I'm gonna show you how to redo them. It takes no time at all, I promise. It might sound like it, but I spent so much time trying to make them work, and I'm not happy with the angle on the end results. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a concealer. So we're gonna blend this out. Now we're gonna take our setting powder that matches our foundation shade and we're gonna press, we're gonna set this concealer. This time I'm gonna go with a lighter brow pencil because we're wearing a really light wig. So now we're using that mixing liquid and coconut bra and a flat angled brush. I'm gonna hit the outside of this brow. You're just doing this on the outside part. You're not going down to the base with us. This is just on the outside. Take the concealer and we're gonna clean up that underneath part of the brow with that white one more time. We gotta take that leftover contour and we're gonna recontour just above that brow just to make sure that there's not that awkward highlight left over from what you had to fix. Okay, I'm gonna pop on the final look and let's do a, the final, final reveal, all right? So today we became a Team Rocket grunt. I have six ratatatas and I'm gonna come and take out your party. I'm stealing your Pikachu, your Charmander, your Squirtle. Yes, baby, I am coming for you that Bulbasaur because we are on Mount Moon and you are on my turf. Let me know what your favorite part about this look transformation was. And also I want you to encourage you to have fun and express yourself. This is Game Glow. Take a video game character that you love and Game Glow it up into reality with the power of a makeup brush. I wanna see what your interpretation of this Team Rocket grunt is like. You know what you could do? You could take this and add it more blood and screwed up. Maybe you lost. Maybe Giovanni came after you. Maybe those ratatatas are tired of being in this little ball and they wanted to be out there in the real world with their fellow Ratatata friends and having the best adventures of all time instead of being the little bitch inside your Pokeball. But yeah, HyperX, thank you for having a bitch. And feel free to comment and like and share below. And let me know what other looks you'd like to see me create. Let me know if you want a bitch back. You know you want a bitch back. It's always good to have a second helping of the button. See you next time and smell you later.